Hey everyone. We're gonna be reviewing warm and cool colors today. And for some of you, you probably remember what warm and cool colors are. And for some of you, this might be new information, okay? And the way we're going to review warm and cool colors is we're going to be drawing a cat and a dog. And we're gonna call the dog a hot dog. And we're gonna be calling the cat a cool cat, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Um, since we're drawing a hot dog, meaning using warm colors, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you just kind of a fun way to draw a wiener dog, since they're often called hot dogs, okay? So, if you go ahead and look at my paper, I'm gonna start out with kind of a triangular shape for the head, okay? And then I'm gonna come down with an ear, okay? And then I'm gonna kind of round the top there, all right? Do a little nose, little eye, okay? Now, nice long body. Little tail. And some little legs, okay? So this is kind of a little uh, cartoon character dog, okay? Remember, you do not have to draw your dog like me. You can draw your dog however you want. And since he's a hot dog, okay, I'm actually gonna kind of put some like fun, like flame-like mohawk on his head, okay? All right, and we'll be coloring that in with warm colors. And then over here, I'm gonna do a cat, okay? Remember, you do not have to draw your cat like me, totally up to you how you want to draw your cat, okay? Some nice long whiskers. Okay. Come down. Now I'm gonna draw those little arms. And the hind legs. Little feet. Okay. So now I've got my cool cat and my hot dog. And guess what I'm gonna color them in with? Warm and cool colors. So for my hot dog, okay, just a reminder, warm colors are red, pink, yellow, and orange. Now these are really thick markers, so I'm actually not gonna color my hot dog in with them, okay? But I might use them in the background. And then here I've got my cool colors, okay? Purple, green, blue, okay? Basically any shade of purple, any shade of green, any shade of blue, okay? For cool colors, okay? So cool, hot, all right? Now, um, let me think I wanna, I'm gonna add some little eyelashes to my cat. Um, I'm going to use colored pencils to color my hot dog and my cool cat in, okay? And you can do this however you want, okay? If you want to do some neat patterns on your dog and cat, you can do some neat patterns, okay? Um, remember, a pattern is when something thing repeats itself okay so like green blue green blue green blue okay or different shapes 
triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, okay? My cool cat. Now I'm gonna try to use all the cool colors on my cat because it's gonna help me remember what the cool colors are. And if I wanna outline my pencil lines with a colored pencil, that might be a good idea because it might make them more bold. My favorite kind, if, if you all like colored pencils, my favorite kind of colored pencils are something called Prisma colored pencils. And they're really soft and the color is nice and bright. Okay. Ooh, maybe a lavender on the face. So now I got some nice turquoises, blues, greens, purple for my cool cat. Okay. Now, oh, I gotta go over my whiskers. Woo, 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 woo. Now, if I want to, just to kind of help me remember, maybe I'll use my fancy dancy markers, okay? And do some cool colors around my cool. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my hot dog. And I'm gonna use some warm colors to color in my hot dog. Okay. Pink. Orange, yellow, red, Mohawk. All right, and now I'm going to use some of my fancy dancy markers to go over hot dog. Okay, for my warm color. Okay, remember we associate warm colors with things like fire, the sun. Lava, okay, and we associate cool colors with things like water, a rainforest, ice, 
things that are cold. Things that are warm, things that are cold. All right, friends, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Also, don't forget to write your name at the top of your paper, okay? And my first name, if you don't already know, my first name is Arilla, okay? So don't forget to write your name on your paper. All right, talk to you guys later, bye-bye.